The year is 50 BC. Gaul is entirely occupied by the Romans. Entirely? Not quite. One small village of indomitable Gauls still holds out against the invaders. And since it's a glorious day, let's go and pay them a visit. Here's chief vital statistics, minus his usual bearers. Cacophonix the Bard is busy composing the kind of ballad his mother once softly sang to him. And Getafix the Druid is feeding his doves. It's a picture-perfect day. The cloudless sky shows no sign of the terrible events brewing on the horizon. The trials and tribulations that yet again await our friends, Asterix and Obelix, the two most valiant warriors in the village. And where are our heroes exactly? Garum lupus. There's no need for language like that. No, Obelix. Garum is a condiment, and lupus is the name of the manufacturer. <coughs> right. Let's head back to the village and see how Getafix the Druid is doing. Our Druid walks much straighter since he stopped falling out of trees. Or getting crushed by minis. Isn't that right, Obelix? Asterix, I'm hungry. Obelix, do you ever think of anything else? Thank you. 
I'll get a fix, dear druid. Hello, my friends. And how was the hunt this morning? That's just the thing, get a fix. I've been feeling a little weak lately. I could do with a boost. Obelix, I don't know if I've already told you this, but I can't give you any magic potion. You fell into some when you were little and... Thief! Thief! Look, it's Postal Districts, the postman. What's wrong, Postal Districts? In the forest! Somebody stole my bag in the forest and it had the entire village's post in it! Letter thieves? That's got the Roman stamp all over it. Why would the Romans want to steal our post, Obelix? Don't talk rubbish! Those Romans want us dispatched. Plus, they always follow orders to the letter. If that's not proof, I don't know what is. It felt like the sky was falling on my head. I fainted and when I woke up... I was sitting against a tree. Sorry, but what you're describing sounds like sleeping on the job, Postal Districts. I'm serious. I was attacked. My head's still spinning. Hmm. This post-pinching story is very odd. Asterix, Obelix, go and have a wander around the forest and see what you can find. Master Obelix! I like to take my time. Do you think we'll come across any Romans, Obelix? Oh yes, it's Roman season in the forest this time of year. Huh? 
Over to you, Asterix! Master Riggs, come and see. Dogmatics has found something. Look, there are bits of marble. It's Postal District's post. They seem to be leading to the Compendium camp. Wait for me here, Master Riggs. I'll go and fetch the post. I won't be long. Hang on, Obelix. What if we tried asking the Romans politely for once? When we arrive at the camp, we could try knocking beforehand. That's what I was planning to do, Master Riggs. As soon as I arrive, I'll knock the guard down before heading in. I'm not sure that counts as being polite, but if you say so... Goody, 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 Romans! <laughs> Call a good fight. Smell what I smell. Smells like ball. Quick, let's not waste any time. I'm in the mood for making Roman squeal.
The goal are here!
Over to you, Obelix! Over to you, Obelix! Over to you, Asterix!
Mission accomplished, Obelix. We've got the post. Now we can head back to the village. Did you see that, Asterix? I politely knocked the Romans down, and they all told me where they'd hidden the post. You were right. All we had to do was ask nicely. But we still don't know why the Romans stole the post bag in the first place. It doesn't bode well. Plus, I don't know if you noticed, Obelix, but the Romans have added even more legionary posts than before. So they've increased the posts, but hidden the letters. These Romans are crazy. I won! It's payback time! My bag! Here, get a fix. There's something for you. Incredible! A message from Avina. Avina Gandia. Is that a friend of yours, get a fix? Yes. Avina Gandia is the high priestess of a land far, far away. The island of Thule. We met a very long time ago in Barcina in Hispania. We were exchange students in Iberia. Back then, in the good old days, my friend, the druid Ipefix, introduced us. Ah, Avina. Avina. She was so... She was so... How can I explain it? She was just... We get the idea. So, what does Avina Gandir want from you after all these years? Hmm. Hang on a bit. Let's see. By to Tartis. Avina, she needs help. She's in danger. She's worried the Romans will kidnap her. That's why the Romans stole my post. They wanted to make sure you didn't get the call for help, get a fix. Yes, we should help her. But how do we track her down? She's probably already being held captive by the Romans by now. She could be imprisoned anywhere in the Empire. Don't worry, friends. We'll find Avina using the Snuffle Helga Yokel. The what? Isn't that the thing we ate in Belgium? With the menope? The Snuffle Helga Yokel is Avina's sacred rock. The one and only thing capable of showing us the way. To understand, dear friends, I need to tell you the story of the Snuffle Helga Yokel. All this is making me hungry. Shh, Obelix. A few years ago, to protect her island and her people, Avina carved out a rock that could control the elements like ice and fire. One of the rock's other special powers is that it can also point the way to its creator, wherever she may be. It's the bedrock of cutting-edge design. And so this sacred rock is on the island of Thule, then? No, Asterix. It's right here. Not here, not there. I was sure I tidied it away. Ah, here we go. <coughs> the sacred rock. Yes, friends, this is the Snuffle Helga Yokel. Avina felt safer in trusting it to me. She hoped that the guardians of the magic potion would keep it from falling in the wrong hands. It's rockacious, boulderous, stonerific. It's... it's a menhir. That's it. It's a crystal menhir. Well done, Obelix. From now on, rather than Snaffle thingamajig, we'll call it the Crystal Menhir. So, that's that then. Thanks to the magical menhir, finding your friend should be child's play, Getafix. It's not quite that simple, Asterix. Back then, the rock's powers caused devastation when unleashed, almost destroying the island of Thule. Avina decided to extract several shards of the rock to minimize its powers, and the crystal menhir was reduced to nothing, a dead stone devoid of power. Still today, without the three missing shards, the crystal men here will be of no use to us. So, if I've understood this correctly, we need to find the missing shards to reactivate the stone and find Avina. But where are the three shards? Avina kept the first one. It's probably still in faraway Thule. Let's not waste any more time. We should go and tell Chief Vital Statistics that we're heading off. No, get a fix. You absolutely cannot set off on another adventure. Chief Vital Statistics is right. Men here carrying is a professional trade, not something just anyone can do. But Vital Statistics, Avina is being kept hostage somewhere. I must find her. No, 
The last time you left the village to find someone to replace you, it was a disaster. Obelix and I will make the journey. We promise to do everything we can to help your friend, Getavix. Thank you, dear friends. I'll stay in the village whilst you're away. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Especially as I need to get working on building up our magic potion supply. Get a fix. On behalf of the entire village, I salute your wisdom. And with you here in the village with us, we have nothing to fear. Well, only one thing. The sky falling on our heads. To Thul, then. Obelix, you shall carry the crystal menhir. You see, Dogmatics, I was sure they'd pick me for this task. It requires a delicate touch. Geriatrix's boat is in for repairs. Go and ask the Phoenician merchant, Economic Crisis, to take you there. I saw his boat on the beach. Go and see, Asterix. I know how to handle the menhirs. <laughs> 